broken away from the pack. A little update, Rob has gone back to the hotel, he's uh, not confident in his front end on his bike for some reason, we don't know why, so he's gone back with Ray to try and uh, have a look at it, take it from me, you know, I don't know what they're going to do, so me, Dom, Don and Les are going to continue with the route, so I've jumped out in front because I just want to go quicker. Turn the camera on and then we come to a little town, so hopefully my compadres are still with me. Yeah, they are. Yeah, so uh, last night we uh, arrived at the hotel had a shower and uh, headed down to the bar. We had some um, a few cervezas, which is a uh, beer in uh, Spanish. Well, I had one actually, one and a half, and then uh, some bar snacks. I just keep bar snacks on the go all the time. It's the most delicious smoked olives and uh, things like ham on bread and uh, sunflower seeds. And then we were all pretty hungry. I suppose it was about 7, 7.30, so we went out to see if we could find a restaurant. And they're all shut. All of them are closed to, and don't open till 9pm. 9, 9 it's like, wow, that's nearly my bedtime. <laughs> so uh, we're back to the, um, the hotel, uh, hotel bar, and uh, had some mushroom omelette with bread, and it's like portion each for £1.50 or one and a half euros. It's unbelievable. So cheap. Uh, we booked um, one of the restaurants and headed out again at nine o'clock where we uh, sat down at a mostly vegetarian meal actually for um, and everyone had drinks, beers, spirits and the whole lot cost 58 euros for five of us. Incredible, 12 euros each. And the food was absolutely amazing. Like, the salad, oh, the dressing, the tomatoes, so sweet, and juicy, and tasty. But what we get in the UK is just such a poor example. We don't even taste of anything. I think sometimes, even though you get tomatoes, taste of fish. But here, the food is so good. The people are so friendly. The um, Easter celebrations are really sort of highlighted and celebrated here, and uh, it's just. Uh, Sort of party like atmosphere, people standing, talking, laughing, having a drink, people in restaurants in the small village where we're staying and everyone, they might look at us because we're English, we're talking a different language but everyone just gets on with it and it's quite natural and um, they're very friendly and accommodating. The language is a bit of a problem but uh, we managed to make ourselves understood and uh, yeah it's been really good great night last night I don't normally drink so uh, I think I had two and a half three beers in total Whew, that was enough for me but good though enjoyed it slept pretty well last night until about four where I woke up Don was snoring not over loudly so I got up at the toilet, found me earplugs, put them in, eventually I went back off to sleep, woke up at half seven, really quite tired actually. Yeah. A good night. I think we're off to Riano Reservoir Lake, I've been there before, it's amazing.
for uh, an older BM is incredible. It's not fast, but it's fast enough. The handling is amazing. It's just talky, it pulls. It's not intimidating, which allows you to ride it fast, actually. It's not frightening. Look at this. Look at it. <laughs> this is stunning. Look. Oh, so beautiful. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, since uh, I've, I got the BMW as a winter hack, really, I just thought I need something. I don't want to ride my KTM in the winter, get it all rusty and fuck it up. So I thought I'll get a second bike. So I got, I thought, well, I'll go for a Beamer, get an older Beamer. I've got the best one I could afford for the money I had, and uh, should have no nine plate. It's the last of the air cooled ones, 104 brake horsepower, and. Uh, to be honest, I just found myself riding it far more than the KTM, and uh, it's practical. It's got the luggage, and it's got good wind protection. It's comfortable. I can ride it two up, and uh, I was riding it twice as much as the KTM. And I think, for that reason, I'm probably going to go for a, a slightly newer BMW. I would like the 1250. They are quite a lot of money. I don't know if I can quite stretch to that. <coughs> A little bit more power, I think. Like they are. 136 brake horsepower as opposed to 204. Then we're off! Hey! <laughs> it's, uh, I still love the KTM, don't get me wrong. It's bonkers, absolutely bonkers. I'd like to be without a sportier bike, but this is great. Look at this. pleasing to the eye. Look at this. <laughs> cool. Look, snow, snowy mountains. Wow. Reservoir. Shit.
it so far. Give it some welly. Looking up at the beautiful mountains and all of a sudden there's a bend like that. <laughs> 